Now we're doing tortilla soup. So I'm prepping all this and for the soup, you'll have everything ready to go and then you'll start making it. So even when I'm testing and I'm doing the same thing so I can accurately track my cook times for each ingredient and all that stuff. For soup anyways, you wanna have everything cut and ready to go so that you're at the pot, just going in the right cooking order. We had a whole plan, we got in, and when we were tasting it at the end, we sort of realized it wasn't thick enough, and it didn't have as much depth as it needed to have. So we've gone ahead and now additionally, which we initially wanted to do. We did want to do this, exactly. So we ground up we ground up cornmeal into corn flour, very fine corn flour. And originally we wanted to put that in as like a roux or a thickener. So now we had to go backwards and add it in, stir it in at the end, even though you would actually cook it at the beginning, which we'll do. Then we also added tamari into there because it was missing like a a deep flavor and we have to see if we still need salt too yeah my guess is gonna need a little bit more tomorrow the lime juice helped yeah it rounds it out doesn't uh -huh. it i like it <clears throat> so tortilla soup normally has chicken stock and shredded chicken we've used vegan chicken flavored bouillon base and jackfruit as the chicken which is nice because it's shredded also mm. Salt. I think you should do one more tablespoon of tamari and another half teaspoon of salt. Okay. And it'll be perfect. It tastes delicious. There's a good level of spice. There's a good level of acid. Um, I like the corn and the beans in it. I think the thickness is perfect now. I think it will be better the next day. Because it always is. It will be. And I think it's going to blend up beautifully for the sauce. Yeah. I want to do up a real bowl now, and I need to measure how much is in here. Did you add the salt too? Yes, half a teaspoon and one more tablespoon. So now it would be a full teaspoon of salt. Ooh, it's hot. Better That's than... what you're looking for, like a recipe that like locks into place, like a puzzle. Yes. Place. Perfect. It doesn't need anything else. This means it was a good recipe, like when the kitchen's f***ing exploded. This is the price you pay. That light looks nice. To style, as soon as you move it, it bleeds up the side of the bowl and then you don't have a nice clean line. All right, anyway, this is not how my photo looks. So. Soup is served. This is a <clears throat> chocolate peanut butter rice crispy cake. Modeled after something that I can get in Toronto at this bakery. That's like to die for. It's like the best tasting thing ever. So I'm just basically doing my version. So it's gonna have chocolate on, it's gonna chill. Chocolate on top, flaked salt, maybe pretzels, I don't know. And then we're gonna cut it into wedges like a cake. And already I know it's gonna be good because the filling, as I was putting all the things in the pot, melting them, tasting it, making sure it's fine. So there's no baking. So it's gonna be great, I can already tell. too soft. So I made this whole cake, this massive cake, all these ingredients. It's like fine, like, but it's not good enough and it's not the way it's supposed to be, the way I intended it to be. This is too soft, this peanut butter, like caramel filling, whatever. It's supposed to be more like toffee caramel, like stickier. There's sugar in it, but it needs to be sweeter. 100%. Like it's not.
the thing I'm comparing it to and I'm trying to recreate is better than sex. Like you take a bite and you're like, like you, f you basically have an orgasm. I'm not even joking. And I think it's cause there's so much sugar in it, but it's also just the way and like how chewy it is. It's just like perfect. And so this is not that. And so this is not good. It's not the same thing. I think I know where I went wrong. Got a little over full of myself thinking I nailed it. I should have known. I honestly thought it would cool to more of a toffee, but maybe I should have let it cool before I folded in the Rice Krispies also. All right, so that's a waste. I'm not making this again tonight, I can tell you that. Just because I don't feel like it. It's so annoying how testing is like, so now I know the, um, like the amount of stuff I have is correct because this is how thick I want this thing. So I know to use the same amount of Rice Krispies. I know that the method works, whatever, but I, I mean, not that the method works, but like the whole style of it is like this. So like it gives me an idea, but now I have to adjust the mixture and the ingredients. You have all this food and like the last thing I want to do is throw it in the garbage. So I have a party to go to tomorrow, so I might just bring it. But see, I hate doing that because I hate giving my food when it isn't perfect and being like here. And then like, I don't want anyone thinking that that is like acceptable because it's not. <laughs> so I almost want to throw it out. Cause I don't even think it's good enough to give to you. 